Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So last week I was supposed to make the video, but last week I was very, very sick. So I tried to actually create the video, but it didn't sound good. So I'll maybe put the video here. Today we'll be continuing our series of investing with Mac. We will go over technical analysis and the candlestick of what it's all about. If you have not watched the previous video, please go watch it now. I'll be focusing on high risk investment or trading specifically just to kind of like show you guys how bad it was. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll take a week off and from there do it today. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be continuing with investing with Mac. So we will go over technical analysis. And if you have not watched the previous video, I highly suggest you guys go watch it because it's very, very important why I'm talking about, you know, technical analysis and candlestick because it's so important in charting. So I mainly talk about, you know, trading in penny stocks. And if you guys don't know what a penny stock is, check the first video because I explain it very, very well. So disclaimer, I am not a professional financial advisor. This is just for educational purposes only. And if you're looking for a professional advice, I highly suggest you guys seek out a registered financial advisor. All right, so we'll get started. All right, so what is a candlestick charting? So a candlestick is a type of price chart used by many traders in technical analysis. It displays the high, low, open, and closing of prices of the stock. So candlestick shows the emotion of traders. So we'll elaborate on this more. And once we have the fundamental down, it will all make sense. All right, so where did candlestick chart originate? So it originated in Japan in the 18th century by Monisha Huma, who was a Japanese rice trader at the time. They were introduced to the Western world by Steve Nissen in his book called The Japanese Candlestick Charting Techniques. So he described it as a versatile tool and used for speculation because in today's world, the candlestick charting it's so relevant because of the supply and demand and the emotion of other traders so if you guys have a chance definitely check that book out because i highly recommend it. so why use candlestick it's a visual representation of the current price action and many traders use this to make trading decision based on patterns that they've seen in the past. And I will show you guys this because you'll encounter this in the future because it happened to me and I'm sure it'll happen to you because when I seen this pattern and it's called a supernova, that's where I made a lot of money because I seen it, I learned it. And from there I saw it and went in the right trade. Then after that made a lot of money and cashed out. So what are the candlestick components? So if you're looking at the daily candlestick, so you will see the open of the market, high, low, and close price of the day. So the middle of what you can call the real body represents the range between the open and close of that trading day. So when the body is filled with red or black, it means that the close was lower than the open. So that means it's a red day. People call that red day. So if the real body is green or white, it means that the close was higher than the open, which means that it was a green day. And with that, if you're long, you probably want it to be a green day most of the time because if you have a green day, that means you're actually making money and if you're making money, you can cash out and profit that in your pocket, right? So that's what it means. So hopefully that makes sense. So what are the key takeaways in this video? So think about this guys. So many traders use candlestick as they are very effective to visualize what the stock is doing in the short term. So it's very important to use candlestick. So you have at least a visual representation of what's going on and how people are feeling. So you can see that, you know, maybe in an hourly day trade, you could see that maybe everything is red, then most likely if it is, then the there's going to be a downtrend. And if you see it as the opposite, where it's actually green, then most likely something is something is brewing and something is going to pick up the stock. 
and if we go from you know hourly candlestick to four hour candlestick you could actually see the story of what's going on in that day trade so that's a key takeaway is that candlestick shows you what's going on in the current price action so second thing is that candlestick so it's very important to know that where it came from so it originated in japan and was introduced to steve nissen and it's very important to learn the past because you can use that history and use it in the future so that you can become a better trader so number three uh key takeaway in this video is that i want to talk about that candlestick will show you or will help you predict or speculate the price action based on the pattern of that specific candlestick that you're looking at so hopefully that all makes sense because those are the things that are very important to a trader and if you can understand that then you're gonna make a lot of money all right so this is the end of the video and for the next week hopefully i can do another video that's very very technical and i'll show you the i guess the charting of the ones that i've used in the past and what i focused on and when i looked at it i saw that hey i've seen this pattern before and i know what's gonna happen if this price action hits this or if this pattern hits this then that's when i really knew that okay there's a potential here to make money because like what i said before that a lot of traders lose 90 percent of the time and if you want to be that 10 10 then you gotta be willing to do the work and if you do that you're gonna make a lot of money so hopefully that all makes sense and if you guys have any questions please comment below or direct message us we would love to answer your question and hopefully this was a very informative video all right so we'll see you guys in the next video Take care.